Welcome to Ejekrum Village, one of Ghana's tourist attraction centers. The community is located in the Fantiakwa district of the eastern region of Ghana, on the Osiem Begra Road, about an hour drive from the capital Accra. It has spectacular landscape, surrounded by the Kweu Range Mountains and forest trees. The area has moderate temperature all year round, ideal for visitors who will equally enjoy a gesture of hospitality from the indigents. Ejekrum is a farming community with a land size of about 1,800 acres. Indigents here are Gans and Kobos, and mainly cocoa farmers. A visit to the area reveals how cocoa, as a crop, has helped to define the history and culture of the village. Meet Mr. AJ Mensa, commonly called Osa. He's the official tour guide for the AJ Krum Cocoa Tour Facility. This farm is a hybrid cocoa. The hybrid that all cocoa farmers are now trying to plant to have more yield. At least every month you have some yield to harvest. That is why most cocoa farmers are now trying to go into the hybrid cocoa farming. Any visitor to the cocoa farms comes out more schooled about the history behind Ghana's cocoa industry, planting, farm maintenance, and harvesting, among others. When you harvest them, you gather them all at one place like this, and then you break them. When you break them, you take the beans out of the pot. You put them on banana leaves or plantain leaves. And then you cover it. That is the fermentation. We ferment our cocoa beans for six days. The first three days, you go to open it. And then you mash it. All things that are not the beans, you take them out. After this fermentation process on the farm, the beans are brought home and dried under the sun. You have to see that it is well dried before taking it to the purchasing place for sale. Ghana's cocoa is acclaimed as of premium quality due to best practices adopted by local farmers. But a J. Chrome village offers something else apart from a cocoa tourist facility. One of the big six who fought for independence, Akweje, was born here at a J. Chrome in 1916. History has it that Akweje, together with the rest of the big six, had secret meetings here at a J. Chrome under these kola trees where they planned their strategies for Ghana's independence in 1956. Close by the meeting ground is the stream, now christened the Big Six Stream. <laughs> Tourists who come here also visit the Akweche family residence to learn more about his life. Visitors are taking on a guided tour of the community to socialize with the local people, learn about their traditions, and to experience typical rural life. Again, Visitors are entreated to folklore entertainment, including culture dance performances. In a Jekrom Kokoto, when the people come in group, we have a, a, a caterer who can organize food for them. But many a times, people like to visit nearby restaurants. And we have one of the best restaurants in Ghana, which is very close to a Jekrom by name Linda Dor at Bunso Junction. They also like to visit that place to know how the standard of that place also is. For recreation, the area offers mountain biking and hiking to the Kwewu Escarpment. This is upon a mountain. The height of this cliff is about 332 meters high. 
but people try as much as they can climb to the top of this mountain. The first settler settled within these mountains in a cave, who is by name Samuel J, the father of Akua J. Climbing to the edge of the cliff on foot is a unique experience for first-time visitors as it offers mountain freshness and an aerial view of the entire Ejekum village and the surrounding communities. Well, there's more a tourist to the village can experience and enjoy. Holiday revelers may find convenient escape to this wonderful natural environment for a breathtaking experience that will leave long-lasting memories on their minds.